congrats on the win last night. Uh, what went into your thinking in terms of sticking with the same offensive line group, uh, including Liam at left tackle? And did they do enough well last night to make you want to continue with those five at least a week from Sunday? Um, you know, it was a short week, so uh, we felt like it was best to, to stay with the, uh, with the same group. Um, thought they, they uh, you know, had some good moments. Um, obviously, like every every game, there's always some plays. Uh, I'm sure they all wish they had back. Uh, but overall, I think they're uh, it's a group that's developing and and, uh, and getting better. And you know, we'll, uh, we'll always evaluate and see um, and try to do what's best for the team. Uh, but you know, we won't with that group because of more because of the short week. And how did uh, what Liam play at left tackle? I don't know how much of the film you've been able to watch overnight yet. Uh, still, still working through that. Um, I know there was a couple of big fumble recoveries he grabbed that, that were big plays for us. Um, but you know what I've seen so far: some good, some bad. And um, Liam's a a tough kid. Um, it's a hard working working kid, just like the rest of the, those young players on the offensive line. Still working through through the film, but I thought he did some good things. Thank you. How? Brian, I know this is uh, kind of an unanswerable question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, last night felt possibly like the kind of win that, that might be a, a real springboard for this team. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on the possibility that it, it could be just that. Well, you know, it's. I thought the guys they played they played hard for sixty minutes. A, you know, Baltimore is a good team, uh, good players, good coaches. We talked about that last night. Um, you know, it's always good to get a win. Um, you know, I, I try to just take things one day at a time. Um, and I'm going to watch, continue, finish watching the film here this morning. Um, try to try to build on this. Uh, and build on some of the things that we're doing well um, to try to improve on some of the things we're not doing well. Um, and, uh, you know, just try to try to prepare um, for our next opponent and, and uh, you know, hope this team as best I can. Is there one thing off the top of your head that you know at this early stage of going through the film that that definitely jumped out at you as something that was a real positive that maybe hadn't happened up to this point in the season? Um, we didn't turn the ball over offensively. That's always a big stat. Um, I think when if you start there, that's 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 something we hadn't done this year, and um, we were able to do that last night. That, that went a long way. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Brett. Good morning, Brian. Um, a couple of things. One, just to clean up one thing from last night. Do you anticipate that Jacoby might need imaging or anything like that just to make sure nothing nothing bad happened? Or are you guys pretty confident that that he was that, that he's okay? Uh, you know, we'll always kind of evaluate, you know, guys in the morning, especially after um, you know, they go down or there's an injury in the game. Uh think he's going to be okay based off of last night, how he responded last night, but um, definitely, you know, evaluate, you know, his situation as well as some other guys. And I know it's never about one, one player or one play, but, and, and this play didn't even count obviously, but we don't see a 327 pound man go airborne very often to do what Robert Hunt tried to do last night. How, how emblematic is that play? as you guys get ready for the seven or whatever games it is you have left to, I mean, that's just what it requires to win. An effort like that is, I'm, I'm sure it's what you're preaching. I'm sure everyone knows that it takes efforts like that to win a football game. How emblematic can that be for the rest of your group to watch a guy try to do something that deep down he knew wasn't going to count? I think it's, you know, that's, that speaks to, uh, 
to Rob's, you know, the type of player Rob is. And we, I think we have a lot of players like that. Um, effort, uh, you know, effort's not an issue. I, mean, I think our guys give great effort. There's desire to, 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 to work together and uh, play for one another. And, you know, I think that, that, that showed in that play, obviously was a, was a penalty. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got to execute better than, than that. Uh, but I think uh, in our guys, you know, effort and desire to, 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 to have success and play for each other, that's, that's not an issue on this team. Barry? Brian, I know obviously you all are one of the league leaders in blitz percentage anyway, even before the last couple of weeks. And I know each week you all put in the game plan that you think is best for that week. But with both of those things being said, did you and Josh – at all discuss prior to the last couple of weeks about becoming even more aggressive, blitzing even more just as a general strategy. Uh, was that something that, that you felt or discussed with Josh? I think Josh and the defensive staff uh, did a nice job coming up with the game plan. They do it every week. Uh, and, you know, each week calls for, could may call for something a little bit different this week. You know, we, uh, the feeling was that uh, you know, we try to apply some you know pressure as much as we we, we could. So, you know, Josh, uh, Campanelli, GA, Chuck, uh, Austin, Robbie, all those guys you know, kind of work together to uh, come up with the game plan that they feel is best for for us to have or try to have success. But, you know, really boils down to the players executing, um, which our guys, you know, were able to do last night against a very good ball football team. And what, one other quick thing for me. I know you said there was good news with Will Fuller this week. Would he be able to practice next week and possibly even play against the Jets? Um. It's possible. Um, we'll still take it day to day. He's definitely improving and trending in the right direction. We're hopeful for this week. Uh, can't say definitively just yet. We've still got a few days um, before we, we get back out there. So I'll know more next week. Thanks. David. Hey, Brian, uh, you said you think uh, Jacoby is going to be OK. I, I know you've got time before your next game, but do you envision Tua continuing forward as starter uh, with both kind of nursing injuries? Um, you know, you know, Jacoby was, was banged up yesterday. Uh, same with Tua. I thought Tua did a good job of kind of fighting through, you know, the discomfort. Uh, you know, he's obviously, uh, we all saw him bang. He, he banged his finger too in the game, which you know, that's kind of the, what we were trying to avoid. Um, so I think, you know, uh, uh, this, this situation with two, obviously, you know, I've said many times, you know, he's, he's, he's our quarterback. Um, I think, you know, we were, you know, I, I said this last night, we try to, you know, protect players from themselves. I think trying to avoid that situation you know, with him banging his finger, uh, last night. So we'll just, you know, we got we to gotta take it day to day with both players um, and, uh, and see how that goes. Um, but this isn't like a, and I think people are trying to turn this into a controversial situation where, you know, we don't want this a certain player to play. Uh, I think you know, I, I try to um, look out for the best interests of the players individually, the team, you know, all those things play a role in, in, in the decisions we make. Um, and that was the case last night. Tim? Brian, not asking you to share your personal schedule for the next three days, but how much are you, the staff, the players, looking forward to what I assume will be at least a few hours off for you guys and kind of kind of catch your breath a little bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, the players, you know, they're, they're, they're not in. They won't be in uh, back until Monday. Uh, coaches have a couple of days off as well. I'll be spending a lot of time with the family. So that'll be my schedule. Is it um, 
I mean, I, mean, I know when, when you're in the season, I mean, you, you guys had London and came back and you played right afterward. I mean, is this the right time for a break after, I mean, it's been, you know, when you go back to camp, it's been like 15 nonstop weeks for you guys. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, well, look, we, uh, we don't, we don't make the schedule. So, you know, we'll, we take the, uh, the time off when we get it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's a good, a good time to recharge, uh, recharge the battery, get some rest and then, you know, come in Monday, ready to go. Thank you. Alan. Good morning, Brian. Uh, Albert Wilson had been very quiet for most, pretty much all of the season, actually. And last night did some good things when his number was called. Uh, two part question is one, what led to his success last night, you think? And B, based on what he was able to accomplish, would you think you guys might want to make a more concerted effort to get him involved on offense? Well, we, you know, we talked as a staff about getting, you know, to be a team like that. You got to get, got to get, you know, a lot of guys involved. Um, challenge Albert to, to, to uh, in practice. Uh, he was going to have some opportunities and he came through. And, uh, I think that was the case for, for him and Isaiah Ford and Shaheen. Um, and it's, you, know, you need a team effort every week. Uh, and we, we got that, we got contributions from a lot of players on the team, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. And that's, that's what you need in this league. What was the second part of the question? Do we moving forward with Albert? Yeah, moving forward with Albert. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, look, as, as we need as many contributions from as many guys as we can. Uh, Albert's, Albert's part of that. Uh, you know, always part of those conversations. And, uh, you know, we got to do a better job of, uh, of trying to get him the ball, uh, get the ball in his hands. And, uh, and you know, he's got to come through.